Uh, now this problem says from aldehyde ketone so chapter is you can say from aldehyde ketone there is a transalkene so this says so let me write from aldehyde ketone so that I can have reference in letter now this compound say there is a alkene R H H so this is a cis alkene now this says transalkene or cis alkene are converted into their cis isomer or trans isomer on epoxidation followed by treatment with treatment of epoxide with triphenylphosphine propose the mechanism for epoxide to alkene reaction so what this is this is a cis alkene and this is your transalkene so let us write transalkene this side hydrogen I should put hydrogen here and then here so this is your transalkene now they say transalkene can be converted into cis and cis can be converted into trans further first you do epoxidation and then you treat with so first you have to do is epoxidation RCO3H and then you have to treat this compound with PPS3 so it will convert cis alkene into trans alkene and they show a sketch so reaction a sketch is something like this so they take a C and here you have hydrogen here you have R no hydrogen here you have and here you have R and here you have R now if you treat with RCO3H what you are getting that is given to you so you are getting something like this C and there is a hydrogen that is going downside and R upside there is a bond now H then R and then you have O bond now if you treat further with PPS3 you are getting something like this C double bond C H Ah, so you see what we have done this is a trans alkene so this is trans if you treat with RCO3H first you get a epoxide now in this case this bond if this means if you attack from this side one hydrogen go inside and one R goes upside because whenever you have a three member ring you will always have two one goes inside another goes top side and when you treat with this PPS3 you will get the trans this is cis alkene so you are getting cis alkene now the, the question asks write down the mechanism for this step so you have to write down the mechanism for this step how from here you are going to here so write down the mechanism so mechanism is simple if you see PPS3 P has lone pair so it can act as a nucleophile so PPS3 can act as a nucleophile so I am writing it here so this molecule can be written as C hydrogen there is a R oxygen C R there is a hydrogen and then you have PPS3 so this is acting as a nucleophile now this nucleophile can attack either on this carbon or this carbon does not matter so if you attack on this carbon the same point of time this carbon cannot have 5 bonds so you have to open this one so you will have C H now this R and you will have PPS3 in the denominator basically now this carbon is now something like so this two hydrogen and PSV this will go up I will write in the next and this will come down so R H and you will have O minus are you getting or not now in the next step if I do a rotation something like there is a R if I do rotation about this bond I will have C hydrogen is something like this R is here and if I do rotation what will happen so PPS3 in denominator in this case this is not rotated this group is rotated so O will come down and H that is in the front if I rotate this by 180 degree everything that is front it will go in the back and that everything that is in the back will go in front 
so r will come in the front and h will go in the back so h is here and r is here and oxygen will come down o minus now further this oxygen and phosphorus oxygen can basically attack on phosphorus so it can make another cyclic structure so c h r c h r now this can attack on phosphorus so you can make a three member four member cyclic transition state ph ph you have one more ph oxygen and there is a four member cyclic transition state now i have to generate ketone so now pph3 so if you remove this pph3 po so how can you remove you can basically make a double bond and then you remove this bond here this goes here and this bond goes here if you flow the curve something like this what you will get you will get c double bond c and then hydrogen in the back and r in the front and here also there is a hydrogen that is in the back and there is a r that is in the front and now this compound is cis so you see we have converted cis trans to cis so what is the main part of the mechanism is this pps3 makes a fast attack so nucleophilic attack and then this epoxide rings open up and once this epoxide rings open up now we know i have to remove pps3 o and this can be done only if this oxygen goes down and this can be done only if this double bond this single bond rotates about 180 degree and we know rotation about single bond is always permissible so if i rotate i will get something like this now this oxygen can attack on phosphorus because phosphorus can act as a lewis acid it can uh, expand its oxide now it's only octet it can have only it can expand its octet so oxygen attacks on phosphorus makes a four member cyclic transition state now four member cyclic transition state not a stable and i can easily remove p ps3o so i have to p double bond o this can be done only if if i break this co bond and once i break this co bond on carbon there is a positive charge and once there is a positive charge i have to break this bond and then i have to make double bond so now i have converted into cis alkene so this is all about converting cis to trans the reverse is also true you can convert cis to trans also